Hello. I apologize for being a little tardy. I don't know what was going on with my streaming software today, um, but it appears to have uh, worked itself out. I had to try uh, loading the stream a couple times here. Um, so, uh, give everybody a couple minutes to, to find me. Again, I apologize for the connection issues here. Uh, question of the day is uh, Cubs or White Sox? We're getting into the springtime. This would normally be when uh, we're starting to get into baseball season, but uh, obviously coronavirus. So, uh, yeah, that's not happening right now. Uh, I thought it was really cool the other day the White Sox actually um, live streamed their 2005 World Series win, which was awesome. Um, I was actually at the uh, was in the Air Force at the time and couldn't watch it live, uh, but I was refreshing on an internet browser the uh, what was going on in the game. And as soon as they won, I just happened to have a White Sox hat with me. I popped it on and started walking around, and eh, the White Sox won. Everybody's like, we don't care. So, whatever. I thought it was pretty cool. White Sox hadn't won in like 100 years. Hey, did you get the tacos I sent you? I don't know what happened to them. Never found out. So, um... While we're waiting for everybody, just want to kind of go through a few things here. Friday at 1 o'clock on Zoom, I'm going to be doing a live model rocket launch. Uh, I found a park near my house where there shouldn't be anybody, so I can still maintain social distancing. And uh, I'm going to launch some model rockets. I have uh, two of them that I'm going to put together between now and then, do it with my kids. So I've got two of these model rockets I'm going to, uh, to put together and oops, this one's backwards and launch so we have the uh, the red rider and then we have the alpha 3 so we're gonna be launching these on Friday um, if you can't make it at 1 o'clock if you're one of those people that uh, sleeps in until uh, you know 5 6 o'clock at night uh, I will record it and post it after the fact uh, the astronomy club and mr. Zwartz are gonna be joining us so there be you should be tons of people to talk to in there uh, and the cool thing is if I uh, manage to blow myself up, you get to see it live. But uh, the chances of that happening are pretty slim because I'm going to be super safe. There is, uh, let's see if it's on the box here. Um, yeah, so it comes with this kit. And there's a launch, launch pad and this controller right, I have to do this like right here. And there's a really long cord for it. So I'm going to be really far away, so if something goes bad that... Uh, It'll, it'll all be good. It'll be fine. Nobody's going to get hurt. I might bring my kids with. Yeah, I'm not going to blow myself up. I'm going to bring my kids with, though, so they can help me. So I have a tripod for my camera, so you'll be able to see uh, the rocket launch. And then I'm also going to have my kids bring their cameras and uh, record, so uh, you'll be able to see it from multiple angles. The engines that I bought for the rockets should get them up a couple hundred feet. You gotta be careful with model rockets because, uh, especially with the smaller rockets like uh, like these, if you put a big engine in these, these will go really, really, really high. And when you get up to like uh, you know a thousand, two thousand feet, they're really hard to track. So they make for the really high-powered model rockets. They make little chips that you can put on the inside GPS to track them, um, or little uh, devices that emit a really high-pitched uh, high sound. So when it does come down, you can hear it. Uh, but yeah, when it gets really high up there, it's hard to track. So I bought some low-powered engines to uh, to follow these with. Okay, um, so the question of the day is Cubs or White Sox? Denzel, which one do you prefer? You got to pick one. You can't be one of those like Chicago people who likes both teams. You just can't do it. You got to pick one or the other. Um, you have to pretty much declare your allegiance if you live in Chicago. And while I'm waiting for you to type, I will share my team. My team is the Chicago White Sox. Uh, first baseball game I ever to, ever went to was at Old Comiskey Park, and uh, I've been a White Sox fan ever since. Uh, I love the White Sox. Uh, I used to watch them when I was younger. Frank Thomas, uh, Robin Ventura, who ended up being uh, the coach. You know, they were all playing when I was a kid, so I used to have all the baseball cards. Actually, one of my favorite baseball cards that I own is uh, Frank Thomas's uh, triple triple oh shoot I can't remember the name of the card brand but it's like foil and stuff it's awesome I really wish I could have gotten that autographed maybe someday uh, but I've got that so love going actually fun fun fact one of the first dates that I went on with my wife was at the uh, the US Cellular Field we were sitting like really close like way down here 
So, uh, yeah, so that's my favorite baseball team, and it's good to know that you're a White Sox fan. Um, what else do I have going on here? So I have a couple other cool things to share with you guys before we get into some physics. Uh, yesterday I replaced the fan in my attic. Um, now let me show you this, because it's not as easy as you might think. So whoever put this fan in in our attic was an idiot, because look at this. This fan is behind a uh, beam, okay? And you can replace just the motor. So here's another shot. So you can replace just the motor, this piece right here. Um, it's a real pain in the butt. And it's even more of a pain in the butt if you have one of these beams in the way because you disconnect this bracket that's holding this middle piece in and the fan's supposed to slide out. But if there's this beam behind it, you have to like do all this crazy like maneuvering and stuff. And uh, so picture this. So um, our attic doesn't have a floor. Um, I put some, uh, I put some, um, uh, shoot, what's the name of it? Plywood down, uh, screwed it to the, to the beams up there so I could at least put the ladder down. So, um, one of the first things I did when, uh, we, we moved into this house is I ran network cable up in our attic and I, uh, wasn't paying attention and I, uh, I may have put my foot through the ceiling. So I've been extra careful about being up there and, um, yeah, so I'm up on a ladder on this uh, plywood, and um, yeah, it uh, it was dangerous because if I had fallen off the ladder, I would have just fallen through the ceiling, and it would have been bad. <clears throat> All right, so um, yeah, so I had to maneuver this thing out, and I got to play with electricity. Um, so I had to do a little bit of wiring. You know, this is we do electricity in this unit in physics. So, uh, yeah, I had to splice some wires together. It was really scary. And my wife was so proud of me. <clears throat> she recorded a video. Look at this. Quarantine. My husband fixed the ceiling, or attic fan by himself. Got some major points with, uh, with that, with the wife. So, um, what else do I have to tell you? Okay, I sent an email out this morning. Uh, Fermilab is doing a Zoom talk on Thursday. Um, about the Large Hadron Collider. Large Hadron Collider is this giant thing. It's their particle accelerator that they have. Um, Fermilab, for a long time, had one of the biggest, I believe, particle accelerators in the world. Uh, it's since been replaced by the, uh, the really big Hadron Collider um, that's out there. But they're going to be talking about uh, the Large Hadron, Hadron Collider, and um, it's going to be pretty cool because they are super smart and I am really excited to learn about it. So it is going to be at one o'clock, which is normally when I live stream on Thursdays. So I'm not gonna be live streaming this Thursday because it's a conflict and I've got other meetings and everything going on. So I unfortunately can't move the time. So on Thursday, if you do register and you have to, I think I emailed the link out, you have to register in advance for the talk. If you register for the talk, you participate, and then you just shoot me an email and tell me something cool that you learned, I will give you extra credit, okay? So uh, normally you don't get anything for just showing up. You get uh, you get cool points with me for sure. Um, but if you actually show up to the Fermilab talk on Thursday and listen to it and tell me something cool that you learned, you will get extra credit. I'm sorry you're bored. I'm doing the best I can, okay? All right, so today what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through how to write the claim and reasoning portion of your lab if you haven't done so yet. And then um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the lab report because on Thursday we don't have a live stream because of Fermilab, and then Friday we're launching rockets. So I'm going to spend a little bit of time talking about the lab report today, okay? So uh, for the claim, you had to pick one of two questions, okay? Uh, you were either discussing or exploring how voltage affects the strength of the electromagnet or how the number of loops affects the strength of the electromagnet. Okay, so you're supposed to pick one of the two uh, topics and talk about it. So let me pull up my lab report here. That's chemistry. We want... Where is it? Here it is. Okay. So um, here's my lab report that I've got here. Uh, I did the uh, the number of loops, and this is fake data, so you know don't use my data if you're following along here. Uh, but down here in the claim, so for this example, I was exploring how the number of loops affected the field strength. Okay, so in my claim, 
it's pretty obvious that, as you notice here, the more loops I had, the stronger the field got. So my claim is going to be something like this. The number, or sorry, let me go back here. As the number of loops increased, the strength of the magnetic field increased as well. Boom. Done. That's all you have to write. One sentence. So your claim should be one short, concise sentence answering either how does the voltage affect the strength of the electromagnet or how does the number of loops affect the strength of the electromagnet. Okay, so that's the claim. Now the reasoning is where you have to kind of justify your evidence. Okay, so you have two pieces of evidence here. You have your data table and then you have your graph. So in your reasoning, you have to talk about each piece of evidence that you have. So on my data table here, you've got a bunch of information here. On my data table, you notice that when I had one loop, my field strength was 10. When I had four loops, my field strength was 40. So obviously, as I'm increasing the number of loops, the field strength is increasing. So I'm going to talk about that down in my reasoning. Uh, according to my data table, as <laughs> Big Zorn, you think I get more viewers that way? As I increased the number of loops, my uh, voltage or sorry, the uh, you're, you're distracting me. I'm trying to write my, my reasoning. According to my data table, as I increase the number of loops, the uh, strength of the magnetic field increased as well. I started with one loop, and the strength was 10, and ended with four loops, and the uh, strength was 40. Boom. Okay, so on your data table, you're either discussing the voltage or the number of loops. So obviously from the, the data table here, you can see that I'm starting with one loop, and I have a field strength of 10. I've got four loops, and I've got a field strength of 40. So you need two points, at least two points, to be able to show that there's an increase or a decrease in something. So I'm picking a low point, and I'm picking a high point, and I'm showing that there is an increase there. All right. Next, we need to address our graph. Okay. So on the graph, if you remember from math, this is a uh, direct relationship. As I'm increasing this, this is increases. This increases. So when I have a positive slope, I have a direct relationship here. Okay. So as this increases, the field strength increases. A an indirect relationship would be the opposite. As I'm increasing the number of loops, the field strength is decreasing. Okay, so down here for my reasoning, um, my graph shows a direct relationship with a positive, using a lot of big sciencey words here. All right, this would definitely get an A right here. Let's see, my graph shows a direct relationship with a positive slope as the number of loops increases the voltage keep saying voltage the uh, magnetic field strength gth increases as well done what else um that's i think all you can really address there uh, we didn't really talk about anything else so that's good for reasoning you addressed the two pieces of evidence and you were able to prove your point you prove your uh, prove your claim or support your claim what questions do you have I'm I know that you're anxiously I'm gonna look at this it's been a rough day I'm having uh, having a bubbly slime bubbly lime flavor with other natural flavors I know that you're doing this along with me all right if you're not just lie to me <clears throat> that's all you need to do for this part of the lab now tomorrow manana we are going to do the lab write-up. So I'm going to give you a little preview of the lab write-up because I know that you're so excited about this. <clears throat> so the lab write-up, let me pull this up here. But don't panic when you see this. Don't panic, OK? 
okay? I know you got a lot, a lot of other things to worry about. This is going to be a piece of cake for you. Okay, now, if you're moving on to chemistry next year at Juliet, or if you're going to be taking a science course in college, you're definitely going to need to know how to li or write a lab report. Okay, so we're going to be doing our first lab report um, over the next couple days. It's going to be really, really easy because we've pretty much gone through and explored all the different components of the lab report with what we've done so far. Okay, so um, in tomorrow's post, you'll have a copy of this. This is a sample lab report. This is of the uh, voltage and current lab, so the Ohm's Law lab that we did last week. Okay, um, so this is what a lab report looks like. Uh, so we've got a title, and there are a bunch of different sections, and these should all kind of look familiar. So like here's the methodology that we already did. Um, here's the data table that we already did. Here's the graph we already did. All right, there's the claim evidence reasoning that we already did or are doing right now. So you're pretty much just going to copy paste a lot of this, okay? But I want you to get used to being able to put it into a lab report format because next year, like I said, in chemistry, you're going to be doing this. Or if you take a college level uh, science class, you're definitely going to have to be doing this, whether it's physics, biology, chemistry, earth science, whatever. They're going to make you do a lab report. Okay, so for tomorrow, you're going to be uh, just working on the background. This whole thing should honestly only take you 20, 30 minutes to do, um, but um, I'm going to chunk it into uh, small pieces so you can do a little bit each day if you want. You can sit down and do the whole thing, you know, Denzel, if you're really bored, you can sit down and do the whole thing in one day, or you can do it in little pieces, okay, whatever you want. So tomorrow for the background, you need to answer four questions. Four questions are like, what's voltage, what's a magnetic field, what's the number of loops, and describe how electromagnet works. And if you don't know any of those, you can look in your notes. I'm going to give you some links to some sources. Did you know there is actually a website called Simple Wikipedia? This is a real legitimate thing. I did not know about this until Mr. Zwartz introduced this to me. But you can look anything up, like, I don't know, voltage. All right, so just to give you a side-by-side -side comparison. Okay, so here's the regular Wikipedia article on voltage. Like, look at all that terrible math right there. Horrible. All right, there's some uh, integral calculus right there. All right, oh, man, that just looks rough. Looks like a lot of information here, okay? And then this is the simple Wikipedia version of it, okay? So much easier, all right? None of that uh, calculus is on there. Um, I mean, that's just basic, you know, subtraction. Super easy to understand, all right? So um, I am totally fine when you're looking stuff up if you want to use the simple Wikipedia. Actually, in the uh, post for tomorrow, you'll see that I've actually linked a couple articles from here. I went through and I, I read them, and there's a lot of good information in there. It's just got the need to know. You don't have all the other stuff, you know, the crazy calculus in there. So, uh, you know, I would definitely recommend looking at this. You know, back in the day when Wikipedia first came out, it used to not be a reliable source. But, you know, honestly, with all the articles that I've read on Wikipedia, it's pretty reliable. Um, you know, I was talking with the other physics teachers about this in our meeting uh, the other day, and we all kind of agreed that Wikipedia has gotten to be a pretty reputable source. Uh, your English teacher might disagree, but I think Wikipedia is a pretty good source. All right, so we got like 10 minutes left. What should we do? Should we, should we do some gaming? I don't know what to play. I played, uh, I played some Fortnite on uh, Friday last week with uh, the people that joined me on Zoom. That was kind of fun. Denzel probably fell asleep. I got to do some more exciting stuff. Um, what can we play? We got 10 minutes. Should we play some Fallout? I love that game. I'm mean, putting myself to sleep here, man. I gotta go power wash my uh, my driveway after this. It's gonna be mad crazy. I also have to do some training for uh, for school. You wanna do it for me? I'll pay you in tacos. Uh, let me see if I can find this training. It's it's not fun at all. I'm in this recess and I have to take this uh, like 13 module course on uh, training. It's absolutely awful. Um, 
you're not paying attention. Okay, well, since you're not paying attention, I'm going to, uh, I don't know, what should I play, Solitaire? Solitaire. I should play some Fallout. If I start playing that game, you probably won't even notice. Let's see, I don't even know how to play it on my other screen. I have two monitors, this monitor, and then I have another monitor to the right of it. Fallout plays on the one to the right of it. I could play Fortnite. I bet you people popped on and saw me playing games. They wouldn't even know what to think. Um, I could actually maybe even work Fallout into... Let's see if I can switch monitors here. Here we go. Windowed mode. Alright, let's see if this works. again. Denzel, I'm doing some gaming and you're not even watching. Did you check out? Um, windowed mode, I don't want. Borderless. Here we go. Let's try this again. Here we go. Let's see if I can get this to pop up. Still loading. It is not letting me move the window. Well, that's a bummer. You can play some games, but it's not working. I'll ruin my day. I'm sure my wife would get upset if she saw me playing Fallout instead of teaching kids. I'm super disappointed that this isn't working. Well, that's a disappointment. What should we play instead? I'm going to order Denzel tacos. Maybe that will get his attention. Denzel, hello. Oh, uh, well, I guess I could just wait for the chemistry people if anybody shows up today. I had nobody show up for chemistry yesterday. Super sad. I was talking to myself for a half an hour, like I'm talking to myself right now. I should build this rocket, like, live, like right now. I should just build it. <clears throat> Ooh, it says adult supervision required. Let's go 600 feet in the air. I know, like, if I ax if like the wind caught it, this could totally like go into somebody's house. That'd be a rude awakening. Probably, probably get in trouble for that. Let's see here. Should open this one up. Find a pair of scissors. I had like twelve people show up the first day I live stream, and now there's one person actually watching me. Oh, man, this looks complicated. Look at this. I got the red launcher for this one. Tell me this doesn't look like fun. This is going to be so much fun on Friday. All right, well, I think it's finally happened. I think that um, everybody just kind of stopped caring about school. Nobody's watching me right now. <sighs> I knew this day was going to happen. Didn't think it would be so soon. We still, we're going until the end of May, so I have to do this for the rest of the year. 
going to make it fun. What kind of game should I play? Denzel, you might have been on to something. I need to turn this into a gaming channel. Maybe I'll get some attention that way. There's this website, Physics Based Games. Let's see here. Go we play. There's Jenga. We should totally play this game. How do I play? Ooh, look at that. That's skill right there. Where should I go next? Well, definitely here. I could probably take all these pieces out. This thing's not going to fall. Let's keep going. Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Oh, jeez. I ruined it. Not very good at physics. Let's try this again. How do I reload this? Jenga! Can't you just take them from the top the whole time? I mean, that's is that is that is that allowed in Jenga? Can you just play like that? Let's go to a different side here. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, no! Why would you do that? Well, this is not going well. This thing's going to fall. I can see, I'm can. i not even touching it, and look, it's going to fall. Let's take that. Up. Oh, th this thing is so messed up. Let's try this one more time. All right, look at this physics here. Oh, that was smooth. Let's go here. What is going on here? What? No, that wouldn't happen in real life. I'm not very good at this. Let's go back and try a different game. Uh, let's see. Wallace's Workshop. This has got to be good, right? Flash player. It's not safe. Oh, my God. Thinking caps on, lad. Press test and see what happens. Can't do any harm to give it a go. Not what Let's I'd expected. Again. Put a beam here. Oop, how do I go back? Spare parts beam. That looks a bit precarious to me. That, that sorted then. No time to rest on your laurels, lad. What is this? Did people from the UK make this game? I like the music. Alright. That Test. should do it. I did exactly what it told me to. Whoops. Oh, not quite the desired effect. No, I gotta put him on the trolley. Click select all to move everything at once. Oh, look at that. I need to put him up. Oh, what the heck? Alright. Alright. Got this. Watch this guy. There. Right as rain. This game is horrible. You know, Gromit, this is most irregular. Okay, why is this not? Like, I don't understand. Let's try this now. Let's give it a try oh, then, oh, shall oh. we? Not what Oops. I'd expected. What's going on? Uh, nobody showed up for uh, for physics. Well, Denzel was here, but he didn't really. He, he kind of he disappeared. So I decided to play this game, and I'm not doing very good at it. Watch this. Here Let's we go. give it a oh, try. Oh, then, oh. Shall we? That's terrible. I can't believe that happened. Well, All right, hold so on. Maybe one more try, and then we'll do chemistry. 
Okay, I want to see you do better at this game. This game's hard. And it's physics, too. Here we go. I don't like this. the look of this. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah! Even though I say so myself. I don't watch the replay. Here we go. Look at this. Not just a pretty face, eh, Gromit? Alright, I gotta be done. Kinda like the music, though. Okay, so, uh, Denzel, man, I was playing all sorts of games while you were gone. Where were you? Where were you? I was playing Fallout. Um, I was playing, I played Jenga, and I played that game. <clears throat> all right, let's talk about chemistry. Cecilia, you're honestly, you're, you're actually here for chemistry, so I'm gonna, I get to do chemistry today. Yesterday, nobody showed up, and I had to do it to myself. I just sat there and talked to myself for a half an hour. Um, but that's okay. I'm here for you guys. I want you to remember that. Okay, so, some, some cool news for you. Oh, man, you fell asleep? Can't you lie to me and tell me that you had to do something, not that you fell asleep watching me teach physics? <sighs> oh, wait, really? Your dad's coming? Um, okay, well, let's get rolling here. I'll, I'll go through this kind of quick. Um, Friday, 1 o'clock, I'm doing a live model rocket launch. I've got a park near my house where I can go, and uh, it's going to be safe. We're going to be social distancing, so uh, it'll be fun. I'm going to bring my kids. I got a tripod for my camera, and we're going to watch it live. It'll be on Zoom. You missed a lot of cool stuff. Okay, uh, so the question of the day is Cubs or Sox? I know Denzel is a Sox fan. Cecilia, which one is your favorite? Cubs or Sox? While well, I'm waiting for you to type, I'm going to tell you that my favorite baseball team is Chicago White Sox. My first game was at the original Comiskey Park. You gotta pick one. You can't live in Chicago and not like either of them, All right? So Chicago White Sox, favorite baseball team. Uh, my first baseball game was at Old Comiskey Park before they tore it down. My first date with was with my wife. We went to U.S. Cellular Field at the time. Now it's like guaranteed rate field. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite. Uh, what do I have to tell you? Yesterday I replaced the fan in my attic, which uh, was a terribly designed thing. Um, so as you can see. Uh, the fan in my attic was behind this beam, which was stupid, really stupid. You can replace just part of the thing. You can replace the motor, which is what I did yesterday. Um, but you have to take the whole thing out with the fan blades. And some idiot, when they installed this, put put it right behind the beam. They obviously installed it from the roof side. Um, so it was really challenging to try to take this thing apart and make it work. Uh, but I did it. I did it. And I got some brownie points with my wife for doing it. So that was my day yesterday after I was done. I got to do some electrical work, right? Those, that's my hand down there. And I had to splice some wires together. I didn't get elect. Don't. Nope. 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 I got to do some chemistry because Cecilia's here. My wife was really proud of me. She made a video. Quarantining. My husband fixed the ceiling or attic fan by himself. All right. Um, if you want some extra credit, there is an opportunity to earn some this week. Okay. There is a uh, talk that Fermilab is going to be hosting on Thursday at 1 p.m., which is the same time I live stream. So on Thursday, I will not be live streaming. <laughs> you don't have to leave. No, I like hanging out with you and Denzel. We can all be here. So Thursday at 1 o'clock, I'm going to be um, doing uh, – I'm going to be in on the live stream from – Fermilab, so if you want to pop in on Zoom, I'll be there. And if you join the live stream that um, Fermilab is hosting and you send me an email after and tell me something cool that you learned, you will get extra credit. Okay? Uh, they're going to be talking about the Lar Large Hadron Collider, which is a particle accelerator. And Fermilab, for the longest time, had one of the largest particle accelerators in the world. And now they don't. I think they actually shut theirs down. So 
if you were to look at Fermilab from the sky, you'd see the rings out on their campus. Like here's the towers that you can see from um, the road on the other side over there. You can't really see the rings, but if you were looking at it from up above, you could see them. So those rings are actually part of the uh, particle accelerator there. Um, enough, it'll it'll help you out a little bit. I was thinking maybe 10 points, 10 points. Normal assignment is five, so it'd be two assignments. So I think that's uh, I think that's fair. It should be pretty exciting, though. You have no idea how cool this thing is. All right, for chemistry, here is the plan. Um, yesterday, you were supposed to do the lesson on potential energy diagrams. If you didn't finish that, you were supposed to do it today. Um, so what I'm going to do today, I went through all of the optional practice yesterday during my live stream when I was by myself. So if you weren't here yesterday and you want to watch that, you can. Um, but you, uh, Denzel, you have to actually sign up for the uh, for the Zoom. Um, so there's a link that I emailed out to you. You have to email them, or you have to sign up, and they will send you the info out. Okay, um, and then just email me when you're done. Anyway, so I went through the uh, pr extra practice problems for potential energy yesterday. So what I was going to do today is go through the study guide for unit seven, the questions that relate to the stuff that's going to be on the quiz on Friday. So kind of like doing. Um, checking two boxes off at the same time, so we're working on the study guide and doing our practice. All right, is Cecilia still here? Did she actually leave? I think she left. Oh, that's so sad. She was the only person here for chemistry. Well, it's not a lot of work. You watch a video and then you just you watch them on Zoom and you just tell me what you learned. It's not a lot of work at all. So, do I not have anybody here from chemistry now? She totally left. I actually had one person here to do chemistry, and she left. Well, I don't know what to do now. Should we play some games? Wait, Cecilia's back. I thought you left. Do you want to do chemistry, Cecilia? I was totally going to do some chemistry. We can play Minecraft. What do you want to do on Minecraft? Let me pull it up here. Minecraft. I think this is actually uh, Caesar's favorite game. I think I've caught you playing it in my class, haven't I? Well, let's create a new world. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Should we do survival? Or creative? We should do survival, right? Mr. Zorns. Cecilia, don't say that. Ugh. Here we go. Online play is not rated. Wait, can you jump in and play with me? Oh, man, look at this world. Look where it spawned me. Oh, the sun's coming up. So what are we going to do here? We need uh, we need some we need some wood, right? We need wood so we can. Uh, dude, I'm a pro at Minecraft. Just you wait. You get, can you jump in and play with me? I'm playing on a computer. Does it work like that? Dude, that's a that's asking a lot. We only have 20 minutes left. We need to do uh, do something with um, electricity. Somehow. All right. So let's see. How is it on the computer? Um, I don't know how to take everything on the computer. This is really frustrating. Oh, if you hold shift, it does that. <laughs> you played Minecraft during a chemistry test? Oh, no. How do I make a crafting table? Oh, jeez. I held down shift, and now I have six crafting tables. Well, that's a fail. Don't tell anybody. All right. Um, we need to get some more wood. You guys have the education version of Minecraft, don't you? We should get a Minecraft server going for uh, for school, right? Let's get a Minecraft version or a Minecraft server. I'm 
trying to make a house right now. Oh, there's a pig. Alright, so I need to, uh... What do I need? I need a... What is going on here? Why can't I, uh... Oh, wait. I need, uh, sticks, right? Where are the sticks? <sighs> oh, I need planks. That's why it's not working. And now I need, uh... I need some sticks. Dude, this is really frustrating. Okay, you guys are terrible. What are you doing? Oh, man. Okay. Dude, the computer version of Minecraft is really hard to control. And it's really choppy. I don't understand why. Maybe it's because I'm live streaming and doing it at the same time. Okay, what are you guys doing? I can't poke this uh, stream. Okay, Minecraft is being really bad right now. Is it really choppy on your end? I'm getting an error that says frame skip detected. I don't know what that means. Why it's skipping frames. I have a really good computer. I don't know why it's skipping frames. Okay, uh, what else do we need to do? We need uh, we need a pickaxe, right? You're lagging. Alright, um, what else do we need? We need, uh, we need to find uh, coal, right? Oh, jeez. What are you doing? Okay, something's wrong here. Hold on. Um, getting an error that says it's... Uh, not streaming very well. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, so what else is going on? Anything exciting? Do, 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 do. Caesar, I'm doing the best I can. You tell me what to do. I gotta find coal, right? Isn't that what you're supposed to do in Minecraft? You're loving the gameplay? I'm not even doing anything. I'm just wandering around. Dude, I'm gonna kill this pig. Mm -mm. Look at that. I'm like level two almost. Look at the sheep. I'm gonna have a nice bed. I'm trying. Oh, here's another one. I'll make a house in a second. Don't tell me what to do. Look at that. What is this? Oh, God, it's a fox. Got this guy. Get back here. Yeah. Look at that. Level one already. Dude, I am so lost right now. Dude, dude, dude. Dude, this forest is so big. Oh, I did. I did. But, like, seriously, this is, like, the biggest forest ever. I just want to find a nice, clear spot to build a house. There's no coal anywhere to be found. Maybe there's coal down here. <gasps> there's coal. Yeah, look at that. Oh, crap, there's a zombie somewhere down here. Oh, there's iron right here, too? I need to get this. I'm gonna build a. I'm gonna build a house right here, so I can come back and get some iron. All right, I got this. So. 
So, uh... Cecilia, what kind of dog do you have? Alright, let's see. We need, uh... What do we need? Need some more planks. And, uh... Where should we build our house? We should build it right here. Right? Nice level area. Need to chop some more trees down. See, did you finish your lab? I know you did. Uh, it's not very level here. We should, uh, should get a, a shovel and, uh, let's see here. Let's level this out. Denzel, how am I doing? Like, if you had to give me a grade right now for Minecraft, what would you give me? I think you fell asleep. Man, there's stuff everywhere here. Look at this. Alright, uh, we gotta fill this dirt in, right? gonna get dark soon and uh, I'm not gonna have a house built people are gonna die oh jeez this is so hard Dude, I'm totally failing at this right now Caesar what grade would you give me on my minecrafting skills right now This is just a really quick, you know, 10 minute Minecraft uh, game. How do I get to the Ender, Ender World? Ender Portal? Isn't that a thing? Alright, let's start putting some houses together. Let's see here. 4 out of 10? Well, wait until you see this house. It's going to be the most amazing house that you've ever seen. Um, you know. See here, we need to uh, kind of hurry this along. This house is gonna be amazing, right? Look at that. Oh man, people are gonna be so jealous. Oh shoot, people are gonna be so jealous of this house. They're gonna come from all over the mine world and uh, four out of ten. Let's see. This is some quality gameplay, folks. Thank you, sir. Um, well, I was going to do chemistry, but then nobody wanted to do chemistry, so, you know, I had to make the most of it. This is like a backup plan. And this thing is, like, lagging like crazy on my end. I have, like, one of the best video cards money can buy right now, and it's lagging like crazy. I can play... Cecilia, what's going on? You're missing some awesome stuff here. We're, uh, we're doing some chemistry in Minecraft. Yep. Um, so we're just riding out the storm right now in Minecraft. Um, I need some uh, torches, right? Uh, let's see. Let's, we need some torches. Dope. All right. We gotta put the torches up. Gotta make this look cool. Oh yeah! Look at that. Oh, there's a wolf. Should I kill him? Oh crap, I ran out of... Oh no! They're all coming after me. Oh, that was a dog. That wasn't a wolf, was it? I do need a door. I'm gonna go back and put a door in. Alright, let's see. How do I build a door? It's like, what? Two, uh... Spru I only need, uh... I only need one. Can I get... Ugh! Oh. If you hold down shift, it puts all of your materials into doors. Now I have 12 doors. Oh, that stinks. Because now I think I'm out of wood. No, I'm not. I can make more. Here we go. Alright. Let's see. 
It's a good thing my wife doesn't know I'm playing this right now. She'd be so mad at me because I'm pretty sure she's doing chores right now and uh, helping our kids with e-learning and I'm playing Minecraft. This thing is lagging like crazy. I don't understand. I sold? I don't even know what that means. Why is this being so laggy? I'd like to know that. I feel like I got ripped off on video cards because this can't even handle Minecraft. Alright, look at this. I'm gonna get fancy with I'm gonna get fancy with my roof here. This game is really frustrating me. You know, I was in a good mood until I started playing this game. It means you messed up. There we go. All right, here we go. I got this. I'm going to do a tiered. It's not me, I swear. I know how to play Minecraft. This thing is just being uh, really laggy. Now, like, you don't even know how to build roofs like this. I'm out of, uh, I'm out of materials, aren't I? Yep, I need to go chop some more trees down. Because I accidentally made 12 doors. And, uh, yep. Gotta get some more wood here. So, uh, Cecilia, what have you been up to? I like how I have more people watching me when I'm playing a game than I'm actually teaching uh, science. That really says a lot about how exciting my classes are. I'm going to spend the whole summer working on being a better teacher. Hey, Caesar, you jump in here and you do better. Let me see you build a better house. I don't think you can. I think you're all talk. trying to trash talk me right now. Look at this. Uh, what was I doing? Well, maybe, maybe we make school a game, right? Just make school a game and everything will be fine. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, God. Okay, you just wait. This will be worth it when it's all done. Oh, this thing is being super laggy, and I'm going to probably. Okay, I got this. I got this. I got this. Don't you worry. Well, you get in here and you show me. I feel like you're all talk. I need to build an axe. That's what I need to do. Not an axe, a, uh, a hatchet. I got six minutes. And there's a zombie coming. I'm probably going to die. Thanks. Oh, man, I hear him coming. I better build faster. Where is he? Oh, jeez, he's coming. Let me close the door. Oh, jeez. Should I go kill him? Where is he? Where is he? Oh, there he is. <coughs> Take that. Yeah, look at that, level two. All right, uh, let me finish building my amazing house here. All right, um, I feel like I messed up my roof, but um, yeah, look at that. I should get some glass and put a skylight in. Look at this. This is great. And I need some lights inside too, right? Make this a really classy joint. Boom. Look at that. Look, we got a little crafting table here. And um, I need to build a bed next, right? I gotta go find uh, stuff to make a bed. What do you need to make a bed? You need like wood and cheap stuff, right? <coughs> do, 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 do. Caesar, did you finish your physics lab? You gonna do the Fermi lab talk on uh, Thursday? What does that mean, casual? <sighs> he 
he ain't do anything. <sighs> Caesar, I'm disappointed. Uh, what do I do now? Cause I don't, I don't see any sheep nearby. I don't want to get too far away from my house. I feel like I'm gonna get lost. <gasps> There's a zombie. Right? <gasps> it's a zombie villager. You're a noob. Yeah, I got some zombie rotten flesh. Oh, they're all over the place here. You wouldn't even have a house at this point if you were playing the game. Alright, I got like two minutes and then I gotta go uh, power wash my driveway. See that? Boom. I've killed like what? Three zombies now? A spider? Oh, what is this guy? Boom. It's like four zombies now. Yes. Oh, you want to talk programming? You should see my uh, Fallout settlements that I got going on right now. I am amazing in that game. Um, I don't see uh I don't see any sheep. I need sheep to finish my bed. What is 2k? Can I make Caesar? You get in here and you do better. I didn't have a lot of time to play. I think I've done pretty good for ten minutes. I want to see you get in here and do better. I lost my house, by the way. I thought it was this way. Wasn't it this way? Yeah, that's my house. I think I have enough string to make wool now. Um, oh wait, do rabbits give you uh, wool? Oh, those are sheep, aren't they? Give the code them. What does that mean? Okay, hold on. Uh, now I can go in and. Why can't I make wool? Oh, you need four pieces of string, and I only have three. Or two. Where's the string I have? I have two. Well, that uh, that was fun. I'm going to save this game so I can come back to it when uh, nobody else uh, jumps on my live stream. We'll just kind of save that. Well, uh, it's been fun. I enjoyed hanging out with you guys today. I just want to remind you really quick before I leave that... Um, let me go back here. Friday, 1 o'clock. We're doing model rocket launches from the park. Caesar, don't do it. Don't do it. We're going to do live model rocket launches. I might blow myself up and you get to watch it live. Uh, so that'll be exciting. Do some real world physics. I'm... getting a referral on an e-learning day. I'm going to do it right now. I think I can actually, I can write a referral. All right, so 1 o'clock on Friday, we're doing live model rocket launches. Uh, Thursday, if you want the extra credit, the uh, Fermilab Zoom. In order to get on that Zoom, you have to, um, you have to send a request. So I posted, or I emailed out a link, on a link that you have to go through to fill out a Google form. And I'm assuming that they're going to send you directions. So if you guys could uh, sign up, that would be fantastic. I'm going to be there on Thursday, so there's no live stream on Thursday. It's just the Fermilab thing, okay? So 